cleaning, oiling, steel wire laying. The first step in the production chain is the cleaning and oiling of the production bed, where concrete residue from the previous production cycle may still remain. Consisting of rotating brushes, the multifunction bed cleaner advances over the production bed, collecting the concrete debris in a container which can be easily emptied. At the end of the cleaning stage, the same machine is used to apply a layer of detaching oil on the bed. At this point, the steel wire is laid onto the production bed. Uncoiled from the reels, the operator passes the wire through spacers, which maintain the wires in position during casting. Equipped with motorized wheels, the machine quickly lays the wires along the production bed. Now the operator can fix the cable onto the reaction beams using anchor grips in preparation for the next phase. The steel wire tensioning is preceded by the assembly of spacers on the detensioning cylinders, which are used to release the cable once the concrete has cured. At Nordin Pianti, safety is paramount, and so, before the tensioning operation is started, safety chains are positioned across the bed to give operator protection should accidental wire breakage occur. Stressing Depending on the type of cable to be tensioned, the operator selects a specific tensioning jack to tension the cables in a fast and efficient way. After the steel wire has been tensioned, the load is taken up by the reaction beams, which, depending on the element to be produced, can be designed to hold up to 400 tons for a one meter high element. An important aspect in the production of pre-stressed concrete elements is the batching plant, which has the important task to supply a homogeneous mix of sand, gravel, cement and water at a constant humidity. A series of probes situated in the hoppers and in the mixer constantly monitor the aggregate whilst a computerized management system controls the ratio and humidity of the aggregates in order to meet the specifications required. At the end of the mixing, the concrete may be transported by different methods. From a bucket, hooked to an overhead crane, up to an automatic system with a concrete distributor. We are now ready to use the casting machine, the most important element of the whole production cycle. Extruder. Always at the centre of research and development by the internal technical team, the Nordin Pianti extruder has unique characteristics of reliability and functionality. With electronic control, the Nordin Pianti extruder produces elements by advancing on the production bed without constant monitoring by the operator, leaving him free to undertake wet concrete work if necessary. After the concrete is discharged into the feeding hopper, the concrete is forced into the mold chamber with Archimedean screws that rotate and oscillate in synchrony. 
compacting the concrete and allowing the machine to advance on the bed with diverse speeds depending on the height of the element being produced. All the mechanical components driving the tube formers, the side formers and the Archimedean screws are mounted in an oil bath. This permanent state of lubrication cuts production costs by reducing servicing and expensive maintenance. This is another example of Nordin Pianti's drive for production efficiency for our customers. The final product has excellent technical characteristics and a good finish quality in both standard production widths of 1.2 meters and 2.4 meters. The Nordin Pianti Duo System Extruder is indeed, without a shadow of doubt, the state of the art in this technology. In response to customer demand for even higher production levels with ever more cost efficiencies and simplicity of operation, Nordin Pianti has lived up to the challenge with this machine. The Duo System Extruder can produce single panels of 2.4 meters in width or 1.2 meter wide panels at the same time. Both single or double versions can be up to 500 millimeters in height. Element cutting. In the constant search for the highest manufacturing quality, Nordin Pianti is always heavily involved with the development of this important production phase. The cutting machines are the result of close integration between mechanics and electronics, making it easy to tackle any kind of cut, transversal, angular, or longitudinal cuts along the element in any position. The actual programming is simplicity itself, and every cutting parameter can be easily accessed by the touchscreen control panel. For more hands-on control, it is possible to switch to a manual mode. Using a joystick and from a comfortable and safe seat, the operator can move the machine to any point along the bed. Upon the machine moving, a laser is initiated and guides the operator to find the cutting point already marked on the element. It doesn't matter what type of cut the machine is performing. The blade is always fully covered. Because of this, the cutting operation is safer and also reduces air pollution during the cutting phase. By typing on the control panel, changing the cutting angle is simple. The machine then changes the blade angle quickly and with precision, ready for the next cut completely automatically. With a few simple commands, the machine is quickly ready to execute the different cuts, a longitudinal for example. Safety, precision and cutting speed are the distinctive characteristics of this machine, which, depending on the version chosen by the customer, can cut elements up to 520 mm in height. Element lifting and stacking. The final part of production is to remove the elements from the bed. This is achieved using an equalizing arm. The lifting clamps can be adjusted along the arm according to the length of the element to be lifted. Also in this phase, safety is uppermost. Safety chains are hooked into position under the elements for protection should an accidental drop occur. The elements are then transferred to the stacking area, waiting to be delivered to the end user at the construction site.